All right, welcome back. It has been a while since I've taken any question or responded to any comments. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a mailbag. And I will be taking them primarily from the YouTube videos. As I just recently cleared out my inbox. So let's see what the comments section has in store for me. First, I want to give shout outs to Andrew Baucamp, Bardan, Exponential Worth, Freighter Rocks, John Sheffield, Matthew De La Garza, Nick Giacara, The Musician, Freighter Omar, Dextroid DLR, Justin Mai, and Kevin Johnson for your generous and continuing support of this channel and of my work. Thank you so much. It really does make a difference. By the way, if you'd like to support my work here on YouTube, you can click the thanks button and tip me with what's known as a super thanks, a feature that YouTube recently implemented that's like a super chat, except that it's for comments on YouTube videos. So when you leave a tip, your comment would be highlighted just like it would with a super chat in a live stream. It's a much welcome addition to support the channel, especially after the loss of fan funding, which YouTube removed a few years prior. So if you'd like to support my work, clicking the thanks button is the way to do it. Tanj Tanj writes, Magic doesn't work for me. I'm spiritually blocked by something big. Something has me bound tight and I don't know how to free myself of it. Well, magic works for everyone. It's just that right now it's probably working against you instead of for you. You speak of being bound. That is a form of magic. Typically when people have issues with getting their magic to manifest, it usually has to do with not adhering to the law of least expectance. You know, you have less for results. You're waiting for something to manifest and it doesn't. When you really just got to get your mind off of it and not worry about it. Many people also have the self-imposed jinx where they're kind of cursing themselves and making everything that they do that much harder by having to swim against the tide instead of it working for you. And I go over all that in the Words of Power program. But it could be any number of things. Those are just the most common ones. I would make sure that you're not cursing yourself inadvertently and not all that concerned with something manifesting. Stop waiting for things to happen. If you're consciously thinking about it, then your subconscious isn't working on it. Have you done or have you considered doing a day in the life video? Forgive me if you've answered this question and truly appreciate all the guidance. Thanks. Um, that's essentially what the Thoth Life videos are on Patreon and Subscribestar. They are bonus videos of just what's going on with me at the moment. I've given a tour of my temple. I've talked about a lot of personal things, a lot of things going on with me at the time. That's essentially what the Thoth Life videos are, but those are only exclusive to Patreon and Subscribestar supporters. Are you a luminist? I see the symbols of it all over your work. No, I am not an illuminatist. Illuminato. And the symbols that you're talking about, the all-seeing eye, doesn't mean what you think it means. I have made a video about that, and I will put that up here. In short, you think it means illuminist, but to me it represents that you manifest what you focus upon. You have the most amazing voice tone, pitch, and pace. Why, thank you very much. Someone's actually throwing me a bit of voice love post sinus surgery. Usually I get comments with people saying how much they miss my old voice. So I am very grateful to have someone who appreciates my voice as it is today. I got two comments from the same person on the same video, the Dangerous Magicians video. Why is it that negative stuff manifests easier than positive? Oh my God, that is so true. I jinx myself all the effing time. I imagine something I don't want and it freaking manifests. Like a car accident and my water breaking. I innocently googled something about water breaking. The next morning it freaking happened to me. Creepy as hell. My husband tells me all the time not to think negative what ifs because it happens all the time. Well, you just answered your own question. It's not that the negative stuff manifests easier than positive things. It's because that's what you're focusing on. See, the subconscious cannot tell the difference between something you don't want and something you do want. It only knows what you're focusing on. So if you're focusing on negative things, then that is what it's going to manifest. That's what it thinks you want. Your question should be, why is it easier to focus on negative things than it is positive things? And that just comes down to a train of thought. You have to actually start consciously working 
towards focusing on positive things. And again, the Words of Power program goes into all of this. You just said in this comment that you jink yourself all the effing time. That is the self-imposed jinx that I talked about in the Words of Power program. And luckily for you and everyone else, I also talk about how to stop doing that. <laughs> Words of Power is the program that's going to help prevent you from screwing yourself over unwittingly and unknowingly, undoing everything that you've been working towards. People in magic are always so worried about others cursing them when they should be worried about cursing themselves. People curse themselves all the time. And the only way to prevent it from happening is to know how you're doing it. Words of Power is a three-part video program that's also going to cover the subconscious mind, our will and what it really is. It's not desire, as most people think. The importance of expression and silence, writing our own reality, the hidden sephirot on the tree of life, Da'at, speaking in tongues, how and why we do it, how to remotely influence others, and the archetypal and alchemical symbolism of every letter in the English alphabet, and a lot more. There's a reason that Words of Power was my very first program. If you want to change your life around, you have to first stop inflicting damage upon yourself, even if you don't know that you're doing it. Otherwise, you're just swimming against the tide. You can get Words of Power and other Mind and Magic programs over at mindandmagic.com today. A lot of people are their own worst enemies, and they're not even wise to it. This is something I know quite a bit about, since I always unconsciously worked against myself all the time also. It's only after you're able to recognize that there's a problem that you're able to do something about it. But it's not that negative stuff's easier to manifest than positive things. It's just that that's where your focus is, which makes it easier to manifest. When did you download a spy app on my phone? I was just looking for black mirrors a few days ago. I don't need spy apps on anyone's phone when I have the divine. Freighter, does it matter what the material the black mirror is made of? Would some highly polished black material, a painted piece of glass, work the same as obsidian? Materials can matter. That said, most black mirrors that you can find for purchase are just painted pieces of glass. And people are able to scry and meditate in them just fine. So materials can matter due to correspondences. However, you can still work with a painted piece of glass. I don't think it's that big of a difference when it comes to dark mirrors, so long as it is lunar consecrated for scrying. Freighter, can you help me with my magic? I'm legally blind. I want to work with spirits and be a great magician, hoping I may be a fun challenge for you. Well, hopefully my videos are helping you with your magic, as well as my programs, because you can listen to them. Beyond that, I'm not training anyone individually or personally. And this is something that I'm asked all the time, but it would take up all of my time if I did. So that's why I cannot. But instead, I try to teach people through these videos and my programs so that the material can reach as many people as possible without having to commit a large chunk of time to each person individually. Manifesting Reality is a great program. Thank you. And use the techniques because they work well for me. The basics aren't complicated, and the mainstream counselors actually recommend similar techniques. In a way, the results are similar to creating a vision board. I love Poke Runyon, too. Yeah, manifesting reality is just how I do sigil magic, the methods that have worked well for me over many years. It's not a definitive be-all, end-all program. It's just my personal take on sigil magic. And I do appreciate the kind words and praise. Freighter, I have to ask a genuinely puzzling question. I get that billionaires pay their taxes and they have every right to their money. That's great. Yeah, it is. They should have every right to their money that they make. I think what the world is upset over with men like Jeff Bezos and Musk is the idea that with great power comes great responsibility. They have the resources to promote biodegradable products, feeding the homeless with horticulture, cleaning up the Ganges, etc., something really good, anything. They don't even necessarily need their recourse, but they could use their influence and probably even profit off of this too, but they do nothing. Do they do nothing? What gives you the idea that they do nothing? Is this something that you're told that somebody tells you that the billionaires, the rich people don't do anything? 
Or is this something that you know firsthand because you hang out with a lot of billionaires? I mean, look, all you got to do is type in Jeff Bezos charity. Let's see what comes up. Bezos and Bloomberg among the top 50 U.S. charity donors for 2020. Since we're on the subject of Jeff Bezos, let's see what he's done. He topped the list by donating $10 billion to launch the Bezos Earth Fund. Bezos, who last week announced he was stepping down as Amazon CEO to devote more time to philanthropy and other projects, also contributed $100 million to Feeding America, the organization that supplies more than 200 food banks. Number two on the list was Bezos' ex-wife, Mackenzie Scott, who gave $5.7 billion in 2020 by asking the community leaders to help identify 112 organizations for seven- and eight-figure gifts, including food banks, human service organizations, and racial justice charities. Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter, ranked number five. He put $1.1 billion into a fund by that year's end and had distributed at least $330 million to more than 100 nonprofits. The financier Charles Schwab and his wife Helen, number 24, gave $65 million to address homelessness in San Francisco. Netflix founder Reed Hastings and his wife Patty Quillen, number 14, gave $120 million for financial aid for students at historically black colleges and universities. And on it goes. Rich people are incredibly charitable and generous. They can give away more in one year than you'll probably earn in your entire lifetime. And they're happy to do it, especially when it's tax deductible. But to say that they do nothing is absolutely not true and false. They do things and are charitable all the time. I think the issue is more where you're getting your information from because they don't know what they're talking about. And all it takes is one or two quick Google searches to find the truth. So the rest of what you wrote doesn't even account for anything. When you say with unlimited resources and brilliant minds, doesn't that make them kind of crappy? I get these are world problems and they didn't cause them, but these philanthropists tire me. We do charitable work for clients all the time. We help people how we can and we're not rich yet, but I believe when we are, we will be better than that. Well, it's a good thing that you're being charitable, but there's no way you're ever going to give the amount that Bezos has given. <laughs> not that it's a competition, because it's not. So stop treating it as such. By saying that they don't do anything or give anything, that's been proven to be false, okay? And I'm not even a big fan of all these people, but I do recognize that they give more than I could ever hope to. Once again, when it comes down to hating on rich people and trying to judge them for things, what it really boils down to is a case of being envious. But I do appreciate the question, Derp Derpson. All right, I got time for one more I could really use your response because I've started watching your videos and I'm wondering what my life purpose is. Is a person's life purpose associated with their zodiac sign? It has more to do with your full natal chart rather than just one individual sign, such as your sun sign. People searching for their life purpose is exactly why I created the Finding Your Path and Purpose program, which you can pick up absolutely free by following the link that I put right up here. And you can get that in other Mind & Magic programs over at mindandmagic.com where there are plenty of programs and topics to choose from. And that is it for this edition of The Mailbag. I want to thank everyone for listening. If you enjoyed it, please like and share. It does help the algorithm promote this channel. Follow me on social media, links to follow. And I will see you soon. Take care.